Is the market crashing? Are rates still gonna rise? New builds are really only offering four and a half percent interest? What's up everybody? This is Tyler Freeman, owner of the Empire Realty Group and CEO of Empire Moving. Are the questions and statements that I've been getting the past couple months and leading into the new year, right? Today is January 5th, 2023. People wanna know, what is the market looking like well i just wanted to make a video send it out to everybody and give you a quick forecast of what i'm seeing in my professional opinion as of today what the market's going to do over the next few months first question is the market crashing in my professional opinion no the market isn't crashing it's just tapering off right now we have seen where over the past two years homes jumped astronomically in prices due to the low inventory now that we're seeing a higher inventory, which is more homes sitting on market, now we're starting to see the market kind of slow down and prices taper off and come back down a little bit. Now, does that mean it's not a great time to sell? No. I mean, your house could be in a really great area that everybody wants to move to. If that's the case, why would you not want to sell? You could still get a really high price, right? Now, everyone else is asking, what about the rates? Right, everyone buying is asking about the rates. What are the rates doing? Rates have been hiked up almost 3% in the past year alone. Well, we're starting to see rates kind of tick down a little bit, right? Rates reached a really, really high mark according to the past two years. However, historically, rates even at 8%, 9% are still historically low. So for the interest rates, the main ideal behind it is don't marry the rate right you want to date the rate you want to marry the house date the rate because at the end of the day if you buy a house now at seven percent and in six months it drops to five then you just refinance the house and get the lower rate so realistically speaking you're never going to lose the opportunity to have a low rate if the rates do come back down what you want to do right now since it's a buyer season you want to go ahead and start buying the homes that you're looking at maybe you're an investor or you're looking for your dream home buy those homes now get all the buyer or the seller's concessions that you can make sure you get the good deal then if the rates drop now you got a great deal on an awesome house and six months from now you can drop and drop your rate and reduce your payment that seems fantastic that seems like an awesome plan that also goes into having a fantastic realtor and a fantastic team on your side and the last statement i've been hearing is new builds are now offering four and a half percent interest they have it on paper four and a half percent interest right what i'm going to tell you my professional opinion is to not shop a new build because of the interest rate there's a ton of things that are different in a new build than there are on a pre-owned house, right? For new builds, you have different fees, you have different things you're gonna have to pay for and they roll different things into your payment plan. Whereas for a pre-owned home, you're gonna get a full breakdown and you're going to know exactly what everything is because you have a realtor on your side to explain everything within that payment agreement. So for the new builds offering four and a half percent, Yes, it looks awesome on paper, and yes, they might be giving you closing costs, and yes, they might be trying to buy down your rate. That's all good and awesome. However, they roll that into the back end, they might roll it into the sales price, and they just might roll it in to everything else you're paying. Your fees, your paperwork fees, your drafting fees, your deed fees, they might just be rolling it into everything else. So make sure you read the paperwork, and if you don't have a realtor, make sure you call me so that we can go ahead and read the paperwork for you and break it down for you. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and click the notification bell so that you get all the videos and you get updated on everything. And if you wanna go a step further, I have a newsletter where I give you a monthly market update every single month, along with some other tidbits and other things. So go ahead and click the link, the MailChimp link down below, sign up for that. And so with that, that's your January 2023 market update as of January 5th. So go ahead, take it, use it, come back, watch the video, write the notes, whatever you need to do, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my newsletter to learn more because yes, there will be another market update in February and we'll see where it goes.